are you live? Hi, welcome to Build Across. It is Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday at lunch, and uh, the office is busy. Um, people everywhere, lots going on. Kettle corn getting ready to roll out. No way. Getting ready for next month at Canton. We oh, have Billy. Kids in the office. Dominoes. So, um, today I'm going to paint this flamingo. I don't know if you can really see the outlines. He's an older uh, shape that we had, but he's been base coated white already. But we will give this away today if you want to like and share. Give that away. Unfinished or? Unfinished. Okay. Unfinished. That one's going to Canton. This too. one's going to Canton. Um, you want to like and share. Um, tell us. What do you want to know? What's your favorite summer shape? What's your favorite summer shape? I'm finding that I really like painting pineapples now that I've got my little technique. Got my little technique down. I'm enjoying it. So I'm using the flamingo color, which is a really fun color. I start here with his neck. I'm gonna do the flamingo first because he's behind everything, and then you'll do the pineapple and the leaves after. I'm just going to start with the neck part. Um, it's we're still in the middle of this heat wave. We did get our AC fixed. Yeah, it is. So Starting to cool <laughs> off in here. It was just like 87 in here yesterday. Like I'd rather be outside the heat than sit in the office and just have sweat. sweat. Off. <clears throat> All right, so I've got a base coat of this. Uh, flamingo color, and now I'm gonna swipe just a ridge of yellow in here as a highlight. Makes it a little more orangey. Anywhere. There's wall space back right there. There's wall space all around the room. Happy Tuesday. All right. So, hi, right. and. Okay. Hi, Kay. Oh, Thanks nice. for joining. Deborah says good morning. Anything with cool stuff. Is what she says. Anything with cool stuff? Yeah. I'm really, uh, I really enjoy the birds too. The pelicans. The, I'm big on tropical birds overall. Yeah. You know, uh, I enjoy painting the birds. The with them. Okay, so I'm putting a little bit of a darker area here with the flamingo paint on that like say the inside of the bird so say the sun was shining on the back part of the bird it would hit the top of the head of the neck so it just gives it a three-dimensional look if you wipe that through there all right so there's the neck of my bird i'm going to turn it a little bit and get his body It's okay if you get it a little bit into your uh, pineapple and your leaves because you're going to come back and paint those on top, anyways. So I'm just going to try and get it here. This flamingo has the tearing of the shrimp with that bright pink. Oh, yeah. Is that what gives it a pink color? Uh, yep. It's the iodine and something else. So let me see. The krill? The shrimp? Yep. Um, really? Are you sure? Yes. Shrimp have iodine in them? Let's see. Coloration of flamingos can vary because carotenoid level in algae and crustaceans is very possible. So, yeah, it's definitely coming from your diet. Okay, again, I'm going to take the daisy come across the back here. He's almost sunset color, which I think is really fun to blend in. Okay. A little pop of color will always give whatever you're painting dimension. Random Facebook user says, yes. Awesome. What does that mean? Is it, they literally set their profile up to say Facebook user. I mean, I guess it has 
And I, I was just like, I felt the overwhelming need to buy a kid a pool, you know, like, like I wanted to be like, if she had said no, I would have discreetly bought that pool for them. You know, like, I just feel like there's kids out here in the teeth you know, who are living in poverty and stuff and don't have the luxury of going swimming somewhere or cooling off, you know, probably not having even good window units or, you know, just, I, love I mean, I did too, I have a window unit, but like, if you only have one in your house, yeah, I have them in my house, but anyways, so I kind of had the urge to like buy a pool, a little kiddie pool and like drive around Find some kids playing outside and give it to them. <laughs> like, yeah, okay. It sounds fun to me. So I like, just go drive around, find some kids playing out in the front yard, and give them a pool. I mean, those little, those little kitty, kitty, tiny pools are thirty-eight dollars. But I just feel like everybody deserves to get to play and splash in some water and cool off, you know? Yeah, even me. And I might do that. That might be something I do. What a great heart you have. <laughs> I'm also the kind of person to do that, like, if I do it, you won't know. I'm not going to, like, video self, video myself in and somebody's <laughs> cool. <laughs> like, oh, my God, those are aggravating. I don't know. The guy, like, like video and Hannon, uh, Guys the money or something. Yes, do, do it discreetly. You don't have to embarrass people. Okay, I'm gonna do the pine cone now. Huh? <laughs> Tell everybody what I did for you. Love the flamingos. Love mermaids. Yes, mermaids are fun. I even like mermaids. I mean, as a like, I love getting our girls mermaid stuff because they still. Yeah. I'm going to come back now with this Daisy and Tracy's shape a little bit. <laughs> Unicorn. That's not summer. No, I have been doing a lot of fairy tale summer. stuff, though. We've got new dragons. We've got a new king. Two, two new dragons. No, three new dragons. Uh, a Rapunzel. A new king. A new knight. And a new princess. On the website. All fun new fairy tale shapes to check out. Uh, Jay said this piece would be a great work piece to like a little owl. Yes, it would. Our I'm going to do four of these for him. Summer barbecue, anything like that too. Sunflowers, another thing I saw someone mentioned. It. Sunflowers are a good summer shape. Yes. They are. <laughs> so, Rena wants to know when we'll be doing some more, a uh, couple painting, like uh, painting for two. Yeah. It'd oh, be good to throw a couple in there. We haven't done any ones in a long time. No. I don't think about those very yeah. often. We can add a couple to them. There's some cute new paint kits, some monster paint kits that are cute. For boys or girls. Color shifter paint on mermaids. I don't know what that is. That like an iridescent type? Yeah. Iridescent type, yeah. Moonwax. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm a mermaid. A mermaid. A mermaid. Oh, Ben Stiller. I can see that. Is that when he was the model or whatever? Yeah. I can't remember that. Eric Bula. Yes. Mermaid. <laughs> mermaid. <laughs> 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 Shape. This is probably the first time the consuming part of painting this whole thing with the pineapple scales. Rasta doesn't really have like a city pool anymore. Did you? I know the one out at Savannah Hall is open. Yeah, they 
Top of the pineapple, and then I'm gonna do the uh, the leaf all at once, and we'll be finished. Super easy, super cute. I'm gonna use evergreen and limeade. <clears throat> you got an echo? Um, yeah, I'm trying to see if it's. Oh uh, yeah, I think it did work. Feedback. Yeah. I need two microphones on. Two turntables and a microphone? <laughs> One turntable and two microphones. That's what that's so. The old bit. Mm -hmm. A mouse? How wonderful. Did you invite him in here to talk? He's coming? Is he bringing lunch? This is me, Stuart. His name is Mr. Bojangles. Uh, Mr. Bojangles is <laughs> down on the Green Mile. Mr. Bojangles. We have this lady that's been doing the story time for kids in the library in Macomb. Uh, and she had a mouse on a motorcycle that was riding around the um, I think she still does it. A real mouse? Let those people <laughs> he works for money. <laughs> he doesn't work for free. <laughs> I pay him. 
I am good. Oh, we're getting low on the limeade. I'm going to order that for Scarlett. All right. Coming back over this. Um, evergreen. And I'm pulling down with the limeade. Because I really want the darker parts to be at the bottom. To give depth. So I'm going to come back and pull back up in the creases here. All right. Nothing fancy. Just some streaks of dark and light. I'm going to do this leaf and that leaf and we'll be finished. These are pretty easy to paint. Barely just a few colors. You don't need a ton of different colors to paint different objects or anything. My brush already has limeade in it, so it's uh, it's smearing in with the evergreen, which is great. We like that. I can't believe it's almost July. Yep. Pretty goes. Firework money? Yeah. Y'all do them out of the cabins? We did for Christmas. The first year we did it had a blast. The girls do them. Y'all get dangerous with them? Oh, we had a good time. <laughs> Where? Are you talking about the cabins or the. Yeah. No. At one point, there was someone here who did firework displays. You remember that? Yeah, they still do it. His family does it for uh, NFL games. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Probably shouldn't say his name. name. Uh, I don't remember his name anyway. I kind of do. But um, he came with, like, boxes of them, I think, at one point for everybody. My name <laughs> All right, so not really doing anything spectacular to this leaf other than streaking it light and dark, and then I'll give it its little outline. I always feel pressure when I get to the end of my painting. Pressure on the picture. Oh. That crab was fire. Good? Yeah. Look, amazing. Why did you just switch those You didn't do it. Y'all are on video. <laughs> <laughs> That's my big brother. This right here, don't go in the pocket. That's just the person that's putting that. Yeah, I only got this so they can keep up. Anyway. <laughs> I think I was going to do the work in there. Yeah, that's a different one. We don't usually have that one. I had a few requests for surfboards and vans, so I've got a little of both to take back this month. You actually sell a good number of surfboards. Yeah, I had some people asking about nursery for nurseries, like themes for nursery surfboards and vans. Oh yeah, like the baby announcement. Yeah, well, like. Like they want it for the nursery. That's the theme in nursery. Okay, they want it, like they want to hang it. Yeah, beach okay. theme, surfboard, van, all that. Yeah. Man, that smell yes, all it those is. Oh. You scratched out everything you wrote. No. <laughs> <laughs> Making modifications. Love the way you're painting the big leaves. Just blending limeade and evergreen. 
in here. In the end, I want to make sure that my brush strokes are coming down and into the middle to give the illusion of a leaf. Because you don't want to have like brush strokes that are doing crazy stuff. You want them to be in the direction that the leaf is growing. That's what's going to give it, make it look so put together, even though it's not. Okay, so I'm going to dry this up. I'm going to give it some outlines and we'll be done. A little dry, dry. Okay. Give it a little bit of a. That's too dry. Get another brush. Some highlight. Highlights along the neck. Thin ones, I think, really show the uh, daintiness of this bird. Because these birds are very elegant. They're, they're very elegant, right? Mm -hmm. They're not like clumsy. You know, no, I mean, they stand on one foot all day. Yes. Why do they do that? Is it? Look it up. Ask why. It they're waiting to grab a fish with their foot. I think they're mimicking. Like the I think they're really. Mimicking, I think they're mimicking reeds under the water. So that the fish don't know that they're a bird. Yeah. If that's true. God's so smart. He <laughs> <laughs> just made it all spot. If that's oh, true, man. Jeopardy, here he comes. Yeah. Okay. Good job, and always. Always. Michelle. Thanks, Michelle. I agree. This was this came out good. We're gonna make a couple of these. Give it a little bit of an outline here. Nothing super heavy. I never said this would look good by her pool. We should probably send it to her. What? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said we should probably send it here. No, I'm mad. Oh. Here we go with the highlight and the uh, outline, just making it pop. Once you pop, like a tie, you can't stop. No, I'm not outlining the leaf yet because it's still too wet. I don't want to get it all over my marker. <laughs> Linda's going to watch the replay. She'll get to hear uh, me, Kobe Picker. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Soup's adorbs. I think it'd be so cool to just have like a beach in my backyard. In your backyard? Yeah. And, uh, you can definitely, we can make you a sand pit. Yeah, there's some crabs out there. Like Listen, my nieces and nephews are at the beach, and they went crab hunting last night, and they had these it's awesome. If you're going to the beach, you need to find these for your kids. I'm sure they came from Amazon. Light up buckets, and you can see, this is so cool, I'm going to show y'all. You can see the crabs in the buckets. They look like giant shapes. Y'all got to, if you're going to the beach, I highly recommend these. Look at these, back, look at look at the way they look. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh, yep. Isn't that cool? It makes them look like giant monsters in there. It has a light down in the bucket for the crabs so that you can see your crabs moving around your bucket. If you're going to the beach, you have to get them. They said they had the mo the kids had so much fun with them screaming and. Yeah, uh, we got asked for a color uh, recap. If you well, don't mind. Obviously, too wet to out on that. Okay, so the body of the flamingo was flamingo and daisy. Flamingo the darker, daisy the light. The beak was uh, terracotta and daisy, terracotta and mixed with daisy at the top. The pineapple with pine cone stripes, daisy and white on the 
um, scales. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> the leaves were all green and um, limeade. So. That's it. I'm gonna hold it up for one more. Front yeah, time. I wanted to get this part outlined a little bit. Go ahead and pick your winner. You know what? I got mine already. I've already announced it too. I'll say it out loud. Uh, Jenny Haggerty Salter, our Facebook winner. Email us at support at build a dash cross dot com. I'm gonna go ahead and select the teacher uh, lady one five nine. Teacher lady, email us at build dash a dash no support support at build dash a dash cross dot and we'll get you the shape out unfinished. And here's a little look at the finished product. That'll be wonderful. All right. All right. Tomorrow with Charlie. All right. Bye. Bye.